Hey guys, we are here with Caitlin and Jamie. They're with the uh, uh, Missoula Food Bank, and uh, you guys are here to talk a little bit about the free lunches that you're providing for kids who are uh, 18 and uh, younger. Yeah. And uh, I was wandering through the library and I noticed you guys started doing it here, so I invited you guys to talk a little bit more about it. So yeah. what is this program and how did it get started? Sure, so it has been around for quite a while, six years or so, more, seven years, eight years. Um, it's through a federally funded child nutrition program called the Summer Food Service Program. And so with partners like the Missoula Public Library, Lolo School, Alberton School, um, we make available meals, so breakfast and lunch mostly, um, for anybody in the community to show up to different locations. And kids 18 and under can have a free meal um, and take them home. Nice. We also partner with some community um, summer camps like Boys and Girls Club and the YMCA um, flagship and provide some after school or afternoon uh, snacks as well. Yes. And so do you know a little bit of the history of this, of why this kind of uh, started? To meet the needs for nutrition for children in the summer. Um, many kids receive food through their school, so breakfast and lunch and then go to an after-school program where they might have an after-school snack. Um, but when school ends, there's no, no food. Um, and so relying on you know, what is available at home, which is stretched further, right? You have the same budget as you did in March as you do in July. And so that budget just gets stretched even further trying to meet the nutritional needs of providing breakfasts and lunches. Um, and as we know, kids eat all the time, and so having the, the, the meals available just helps families and, and kids to be food secure. And this is not an summer. exclusive program for anybody who is a certain economic status. It is for everybody. Sure, anybody. Um, yep, mm -hmm. 18 and younger for those kids. Yep, anybody can show up to any of our open meal sites um, and grab a food. We have a spot at Missoula Food Bank as well in our Empower Place. Um, and just get any meal that sh that is needed. Um, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the Missoula Food Bank as sure. the building. It is a great resource for a lot of activities and a lot of uh, programs as well because I've done a cooking program on your second floor and you guys yeah. have a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. Uh, do you want to talk about some other programs that you guys do at the Missoula Food Bank? Sure. So like you said, we have our, our learning kitchen and conference room space, um, which is slowly making its way post-pandemic um, and being utilized more and more. We have yet to bring back our community-sponsored cooking programs, but um, Parks and Rec has been using the space, the Western Montana Mental Health Center has been using the space, the YMCA to offer programming for the kids that are in their summer camps. Um, we're hoping the fall that will pick back up. Um, our Empower Pack program is weekend bags of food. So on Fridays at our open meal sites, um, kids can also grab either a backpack bag or a, an empower pack um, to take home and that kind of helps from from Friday to Monday just cover some nutritional needs over the weekend. Um, we just recently opened mm. our store back up so I'll let Caitlin talk a little bit about mm. about that. Yeah. So what are the hours at the store right now? Uh, we are open Monday through Friday, so Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday we have longer days where we're open till 7, so 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. people can sh come shop in our store, um, and then Wednesday and Friday just from 10 to 1. Um, yeah, and we never, we weren't ever closed during the pandemic, but we, we had a grab-and-go style where we had pre-made shopping carts full of food just to hand out quickly to make it so that people weren't in our store for a long period of time just to make sure social, right. social distancing was happening and all of that. Um, but yeah, last week, like Jamie said, we just reopened our store where people can either choose grab-and-go groceries like we had before, or people can shop just like a grocery store, um, grabbing whatever they need. We don't have limits on any of our food items. People just take what they need for their family, um, and people can come as often as they want. And similar to what you're talking about with the kids' table program, there's no economic requirements or income requirements or anything. It's open for everyone at any point. Yep, and it's such a beautiful build, be, building, yeah. like solar panels, right next to the uh, the only bowling alley in Missoula. And I say the only <laughs> because I'm from Missoula. Yeah, so. <laughs> they've all been shutting down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, a, it is a, like I said, it's a great, and they also have a lot of educational classes and programs as well. You were talking a little bit about Empower Place as well. So mm -hmm. do you, what, what is Empower Place? It's our kids area. 
Um, so it's a partnership between the UM Spectrum, Spectrum Discovery Area and Missoula Public Library and Missoula Food Bank and Community Center um, to fill the space full of enrichment activities and nutrition. Um, and it is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 1 in middle of July. We're looking at expanding our hours to, to meet, to match our store hours. And so we'll be open into the evenings of Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Nice. Um, we are currently operating with limited capacity just to, again, help with some social distancing um, as we are still navigating some, some COVID. Um, but kids can just come and play. There's a really fun ball wall and lots of you know stem based activities breakfast and lunch meals are available lots of books to read i know the library is going to start tiny tales Ooh. back up um, in july and so looking at hours for for tiny tales and bringing that back to the food bank so slowly we're kind of returning to our what was there before um, and bringing all of our programming back and part of the programming is that you also need volunteers. We so do. you guys are looking for volunteers to uh, be part of the food bank family. Yes, yes definitely. Do you want to talk a little bit more about how people can volunteer? Yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah, throughout the pandemic, we really reduced our volunteerism. And as we've expanded all these programs again and reopened our store, um, we have a lot of volunteer jobs, whether it's packing ca a snacks for our kids program or um, helping in the store, stocking shelves, or greeting our customers. Um, there's lots of, lots of different volunteer positions all throughout the day, and we have very flexible scheduling. Um, I'm the volunteer manager, and I work closely with someone named Marcus, who is the volunteer coordinator. So reaching out to either of us to volunteer, um, the easiest way to get started is just filling out an application, which uh, you can find on our website at missoulafoodbank.org. Um, or we have paper applications in our store as well. But yeah, filling out an application, and then we'll reach out and figure out a schedule. Yep. Yeah. And so if you want more information, you go to MissoulaFoodBank.org, yep. or you can call them at 406-549-0543. <laughs> awesome. Folks are just even looking for help connecting to additional resources in our community. We have resource assistance. We have SNAP application help. So lots, lots, lots of there that we haven't even started talking about. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.